Welcome back to the shop, gentlemen. I'm gonna show you another mod for my US General tool cart. This tray here is made for the five drawer red cart. But guess what? We like mod and shit, so I'll show you how to attach it to So I picked this up today for $23.99 with a coupon. It's normally $29.99, but with the 20% off coupon, you can get it for around $25 out the door. Um, the reason why I use this side cart on my toolbox is it's nice to be able to put tools that you're using on the on the little tray that way you don't clutter that top shelf and i know you know what i'm talking about because a lot of people just throw their tools right in the top they get all mixed up then when you're done with the job you don't want to put them away but this thing makes it nice at work i use it for prints i put my clipboard my mug anything that i'm I don't want to forget about I'll just put on the tray that way at the end of the day I'll be like oh okay I need to take this home or whatever so if you measure center to center of these 17 and 1 8 of an inch if you go over to the cart center to center is only 14 and a half so what we've got to do is drill some new holes they're in narrower this, cap, this tray is wider than that box. So I just split the difference. It kind of looks stupid, but function over form. Okay, so the easiest way I've found to do this is just to mark the centers of these holes. These holes are the same spacing as the holes that are on the black cart. So, take a straight edge between your lines. Run the line across. Now what you're gonna wanna do is measure this overall length, which it is a little under 18 and a quarter. So what you're gonna wanna do is mark what do we got? Nine and an eighth. Nine and an eighth. Run over here. Measure your center to center. Just 14 and a half. 14 and a half. So you divide that in half, which is seven and a quarter. So what you're going to want to do now is come over from your center mark seven and a quarter. What I usually like to do is measure between the two marks. So we got 14 and a half, that's what we're looking for. Seven and a quarter. quarter. Okay, so now you have your marks where you need to drill your new holes. You don't have to do this step, but it makes it a little easier when you're drilling. Is using a center pop. You can use even an old fashioned center pop where you use a hammer. This one's just a spring loaded one that I've had bouncing around. The reason why you do that is when you got your drill bit, you can go into that little center pop hole and it'll help keeping it from walking away from where you're trying to drill. So make sure when you drill these that this isn't folded like this I'll get you to make sure you don't have it folded like that because you don't want to drill into the inside the top of your tray so I've got a step bit for ease of use but you need to put a 5 16 hole and on your marks son of a bitch why can't anything ever be easy? As I drill holes in my concrete, just a little, just a little deburring action. Those little burrs are sharper than hell, and you're natural instinct is to go, oh, wipe it off, and it cuts the shit out of your finger. 
Okay, so we got our holes drilled. Now, we'll get our bolts together. We'll take the old bolts out and we'll get her done. So now what we've got to do is remove these four bolts. Um, you've got bolts here on the front and then the back, so don't worry about the cart falling. If you got a ton of weight in here, maybe take some of it out. That way if it's a little weak, it doesn't, I can't imagine it falling, but there's always that possibility. So we'll remove these, then we'll get our new fasteners, we'll put them in. So here's the hardware that came with the tray. I'm just gonna use it. I think they're a little bit longer, but I may be wrong. So there she is. Putting it on, if you have another person, it helps a ton. I, my wife's not around, so I can't use her as help. But uh, see, this is what I was talking about. See how it sticks out a little bit? It doesn't really bother me, but I guess if you, you're OCD, you'll be like, oh, this doesn't fit good. But another thing you're probably thinking, Chase, why are these holes not big enough? These holes I made a little bit small because these have those bolts with the square hex under them, carriage bolt. So the hole is just barely smaller than the, the shoulder on this bolt. That way it has something to grab when you're trying to tighten it. That's if you want to reuse these. If, if you want to do a different bolt, you'll have no problem having the round hole, but that's why I made them smaller. But anyway, there's it collapsed. And there she is. Just throw her under there on that lip. Damn, that's beautiful. But this thing can hold a lot of weight, surprisingly. I wouldn't say put your five-year-old kid on there, but the only thing she needs is some powder coat in a can and she'll be slick. Another thing I wanted to mention, you can still use these storage holes, both on the inside and the outside. When this is collapsed, there's still room for whatever you got down there, screwdrivers or breaker bars or whatever. Well, I hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned. I got all kinds of ideas. I'll be making videos as much as I can. Thanks a lot.